This is a quick demonstration of cutting plexiglass with the Vertical Laser XL. Click the link in the description for more information on the machine that I'm using. I'm using LaserCAD version 7.58 and the dimensions of the vertical laser is from 0 millimeters to around a little over 1200 and on the X side it's a little more than 2400 so it's about 4 feet by 8 feet area and I'm Cut, I'm going to be cutting out a, a plexiglass panel. Uh, this is one of about nine of them that I'm cutting out for a special project that I'm, I'm putting together. And the plexiglass is about 20, 0.22 or 0.21 uh, inches in thickness. It's a little over five millimeters. And for the cut parameters, I'm going at a speed of seven millimeters per second. And this is a little bit slow. I just want to make sure that I get all the way through. I don't want, uh, want to have to uh, do the cut over again. And I'm going to do it in a single pass. My max power, I'm going at 80%. 80, uh, 80%. Uh, I, I want to try to uh, minimize or keep it somewhat low. And uh, so I can maximize the life of the, of the tube. And this is a... Uh, specification that I found works pretty well. Uh, it's probably a little bit too slow so it burns all the way through and it uh, whatever you have uh, behind it, it could uh, burn it quite a bit as well. So I'm going to press OK on that. Um, the line work with geometry is on this layer which is the cut layer. So let's take a look and see how this cuts. To bring this to the, the laser controller I use the download and then download document. When the document is downloaded to the laser controller, that file will become the default file. So you don't have to go through the files on the laser controller to select it, since it'll be the, the file in the queue to, to process. After I turn on the vertical laser and it's supporting devices like a blower vacuum and chiller and things like that, I'll generally move it into its position where I want to have it start cutting the, the lower left portion of it. I'll click on the origin to set that position. And then using the test button, it will travel the extents to see if it'll fit in that portion of the workpiece. This is what happens if you don't turn on the compressor. The compressor will blow air out of the nozzle to make sure that any flare-ups will be extinguished. I quickly stopped the process and restarted with the compressor on. You can see the difference. The controller will generally optimize the cutting process, cutting anything in the inside of the geometry and then do the outside at the end. This process can be overridden if you need it to be, but it works for this project. I'm going to speed up the video so I don't bore you with the, the process of cutting. Before using the laser or any laser, uh, make sure that you have your protective gear on, your protective eyewear for CO2 uh, wavelength. The door of the machine should be closed and you're not looking directly at the light unless you have protective eyewear that protects you from the intensity of the light and always have a fire extinguisher nearby just in case. This is what the finished piece looks like without the plexiglass protective covering removed. In contrast to CNC cutting plexiglass the laser leaves the edge shiny and transparent, and the CNC gives it more of a frosted look on the edge. I hope this helps in your plexiglass cutting. Thank you for watching.